Hey, want to see my tattoo? Alrighty guys, we're back with Spy Fox and Dry Cereal, and let us get a shoe? It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. Yeah, but unfortunately, you're not gonna wear it on your feet. Alright, so basically, all these other is gadgets are useless. Really so what I wanna wanna, so what I wanna talk about is like some of the voice actors in particular. Like you know already, Mr. Utterly is. Scott like Burns Bowser, like not Epic Kenny street. James Bowser. Um, Spy Fox and guys, Monkey Penny really don't have any notable other acting jobs. Nice. Um, Heads Professor win, Quack, fail, they lose. he does the voice of the Brutes in the Halo series, which I find pretty cool. That's all I know for now, but if I run into something else or any other characters later in the game, then I'll let you know about their voice actors. But there is one you will have an enjoyable later in the game and if there is who is pretty familiar to millions of people. I trust you will let me know. I'll mention him later. Of course. So I'm gonna head up on this boot. Hey kids! Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Yeah, we don't get sued by people. No, that's crazy. All right, so nothing on the deck of the ship is important in this playthrough. So if I do anything, do not mind if I talk through it. So Hello, what else do I want to talk about? I want about? to compliment you on your band. You sure know how Didn't to Didn't Mr. Krabs work on the SS Deadway? With such a passionato. Thank you, sir. I thought you said you it's were the head nice chef on the SS Gourmet. The Did I offer. say that? I hope you no. Enjoy the party. I cleaned the bathrooms on the Gourmet. I was the head chef on the SS Diarrhea. Hello, you must be... Russian Blue. Noted the socialite and detractive owner of the SS Deadway. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What sort of business are you in, if I may ask? Oh, you know the Fox, you. As if I'd reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd business feline. Let's just say my business is international trade. Okay, but you've stirred my curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's for me to know, Mr. Fox. As you can see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury liner. Let me luxuriate in peace. I understand. So I got two options. It's either she's carrying terrorist weapons of destruction, with this. or two, she's shipping out Billy Black and Richard Simmons lifting fitness DVDs, and she's going to poison the world with their now that's a nothing, project. no clothes Ideal exercises. Any amphibious occasion. But I don't need the frog suit. Unfortunately, you do. A frog suit like this might come in handy. Especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Ugh, Richard Simmons. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing August at all. 23rd. Holy Jesus, that's my birthday. And I'm not kidding, that is my actual freaking birthday. August 23rd. It was a rainy day. My mother had given birth to me while she was watching The View. Oh, God. Why did it have to be the view? 
Why couldn't it have been MacGyver? Or the Simpsons? Pardon me, I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad, too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at two chickens and a car horn. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon, one way or another. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, I we'll find out later. About the sailor watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. So yeah, he's not gonna leave until he gets a certain time put on that clock we just ran you into in the frog be my suit replacement. room. Listen, you'd better show up as soon as that clock strikes two chickens and a car horn to relieve me. I really have to go, if you know what I mean. Don't worry, you have to keep a dry sense of humor about these things. I'll be back. Oh god, ugh. Jeez. I don't want to know either. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Fox. Woohoo! What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. Are you involved in her business dealings? Only in the sense that, by being a doorman, I know who's who. Yeah, the difference between Billy Black and Richard Simmons wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. But it's strange when she rushes everyone off the ship so quickly. What do you mean? I never ask questions. I have a feeling she takes the SS Deadweight out to sea during the night. I see. Thank you, Oh, sir. my goodness. This Billy Black epidemic is getting worse and worse. So, yeah, there's the clock. And basically, we do not know what two car like horns and a chicken is in time language. So we will find out, but first we gotta go back to the dock square to find out. It's and that green bar, it. we're gonna need to know later, but first we need him That's to leave. Not going to do me any good. Because if you try to look at it, he's gonna Listen, you bark at you. show up as soon as that clock strikes two chickens and a car horn to relieve me. I really... I really what? Can I pee over hey, here? Stop that. Yeah, so he's gonna bark at you. And funny thing, if you press the escape button, you can skip practically anything, like cutscenes and moving to one location. I find it really helpful, you know but I'm not gonna do it on this playthrough because that's bridge. pretty All annoying. All I know is that he dashes off the ship as soon as his ship ends. I've heard him muttering about happy hour. Happy hour at the cantina, no doubt. Mm, happy hour. Mm, yes. Let's go to happy hour. Mm, yes. Where are you going, Spy Fox? You're going the wrong way, sir. That's stop going on the boat, Spy Fox. So what else did I need to talk about? Oh wait, the dog had a familiar voice. I'm trying to remember. I think he was the sergeant from the wristwatch Halo One through Three. When I joined the Corps, we didn't have any fancy schmancy tanks. We had sticks, two sticks, and a rock for a whole platoon, and we had to share the rock. Buck up, boy! You're one very lucky Marine. I'm not positive. I think that's who he is, but yeah, it's funny. I mean, striking like this. I'm going to strike back. It's got demon powers. So yeah, it's funny. Like, most of these actors in Spy Fox really got a big break in the future. I mean, you'll see Billy the Kid. Here's where my notes Um, go. Professor Utterly. The big fat guy we're gonna be going down into. That guy. You see him? Hi, honey. 
Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, Bee. Yeah, maybe some chocolate. Start you rubbing me with the chocolate. From the SS Deadweight. Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? He shows up here 43 minutes after the start of happy hour. Ah, there we go. That's the time we need. But we'll put that in in the next episode. I'm Voltage Man 65, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, wanna see my tattoo?